Okay, well, the first book that I found at Goodwill was This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. I'm iffy about Sarah Dessen. I like some of her books and some of them I really just don't like. Because I think she's too cliche, cliche ish for me, but I don't know. We, I didn't read that one. I do like, okay, I do sort of like her, but whatever. It's complicated. I got A Respectable Trade by Philippa Gregory. I think I'm really going to like her books. So, we saw that I couldn't pass it up. I got Cause, Cause Celeb. I'm not sure what this is about, but it's by Helen Fielding, and she wrote Bridget Jones' Diary, which is what most people know her for. But I'll show you that one next. Then I got From Dead to Worse by Charlene Harris. I'm trying to get all the books in this True Blood series. The Sucky Stackhouse series. Not True Blood. True Blood's the show. Then I got... The Force of Hands and Teeth for 50 cents and it's like in perfect shape and I really want to read this. I got The Naming by Allison Krogan. When I saw this one I had to snatch it up. Julia Immortal. By Stacy J. Uh, this the second book just came out in this series. It's uh, it's called Romeo Redeemed. I'm sure most of you know that by now, though. Still excited that I found that. I got Fearless by Francine. Pascal, I've seen this in Barnes and Noble a bunch of times, and I've never picked it up because I've been like, because uh, I know it's like a thirty book series or something like that. But it was fifty cents, so I figured why not. I like the cover a lot, though, and the premise of the book seems really cool too. We'll see. I got Fire by Kristen Kishore. I have Graceland, and I have Fire too. Yay! And then I have It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. I have the first one. I just need the last one now. Yay. I have A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hussainini. It's the author of The Kite Runner. I think it's, it's not really a sequel or anything, but I don't know. I heard it was good. And... Deadlocked by Charlene Harris from the Sookie Stackhouse series. Chopsticks by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Corral. I read this already. It wasn't hard to read. It was really cool. Cool concept of having like pictures instead of like real words. There's not really any text. A little bit, but the story's mostly told through pictures, which is really cool. Then I have Trafficked by Kim Purcell. This is about like trafficking and I think it's really cool. Not, not that the concept of trafficking is cool, but I think it's cool that th I've never seen a book like this before. So that should be interesting to read. Then I found The Space Between by Brenny Yovanoff. And I got this at, um, for really cheap, too. Not at Goodwill, though. Another bargain store. Uh, I really liked the replacement by her, so I hope I like her second book. This is a really cool cover, though. I love it. Then, a book that recently came out that I couldn't resist buying was Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And I love this green and how it meshes with the black. It is so pretty. I need to read all of this whole series. Maybe I'll do that soon, hopefully, because I know the movie's either out or coming out. 
I got The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan and I really can't wait to read this whole series because I like the Percy Jackson series of what I've read of it and I'm really excited to get into this series. So awesome. Then I have to finish this series too. I have to read Reached. I have to reread Matched and Crossed. Then I already have Iona, so I decided to pick up Eon by Allison Goodman. I think I'm going to read this soon because I can and I really need to. And I'm really excited for it. I've been wanting it forever. Then I got Nevermore by Kelly Cray and I am so excited for this. Like I could scream because it's about, it's like Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have to get to reading, seriously. Um, and I got In Shadowed too by Kelly Cray, which is a lot smaller than I was expecting, but whatever. I love these covers. Then of course, I had to get this one I got. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. I need to read this. People aren't used to this, like, because they're so used to her Harry Potter books. So I think that's why it got a lot of hype and then not a lot of good reviews because people put their expectations high, but I don't really have a high expectations for it. So hopefully I'll love it. Then I got Legend by Marie Lou. This is the new cover, the new hardback cover to match the second book, Prodigy. But I like this cover. And I know that when someone's talking, the writing is in gold, which I think is cool. I heard in the second one it's blue. Uh, we'll see. I'm excited for this, though. Super, super excited. I also got Unwind by Neil Sue Schusterman. I know there was a lot of hype about this last year, about the second book coming out called Unholy. But I need to read the first one first before I get to the second one. Uh, Second Chance Summer by Margaret Madison. This got a lot of hype too. And I liked Amy and Rogers' epic detour by horror her, so I think I'll like this one too. Then I got Samantha, oh no, Between the Lines by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. This I, concept of this book seems so awesome and I cannot wait to read this. Ugh. I'll show you this one last. Then I have this cute little version of the Lover's Dictionary. It can fit in your pocket by David Levithan. It's all told in like definitions. I think that's really cool. And I can't wait to read it. I can't wait to read all of these. I'm like surrounded by books right now. Then I have Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. I like the thing on the back there that he has. I'm not really sure what this is about, but I've heard it's good. But Shine by Lauren Miracle. And Fear by Michael Grant. Now I have this whole series that's out so far too. I have completed a lot of series with this, these books that I've gotten, but I need to get to reading these series that I haven't even started yet. That's really bad. By Michael Grant. I don't know if I said that. And the last book that I have is a book that I don't know when I'll read, but it is Less Miz by Less. Yeah, Less. I'm not even gonna try to say that, but Less Miz by Victor Hugo. Uh, I have the abridged version, which I didn't want, but it's what came in the mail when I ordered it. Maybe mad, but whatever by Victor Hugo and this is a pretty copy and it was only eight dollars at Barnes and Noble so I couldn't pass it up. It's humongous. I think it's like bigger than War and Peace. No, probably not. But the text is so tiny. We'll see. I'll get to it eventually. So those are all of the books that I have to show you. I hope this makes up for me being gone for so long. I'm just super busy and I'll just try I'll try to post videos when I can it's just with class and trying to get all my work done and hanging out with friends and 
I had to put this on the back burner for a while and I'll try to try to post whenever I can and hopefully I can post a lot more when I'm out of school. But I hope this makes up for it for now at least. Um, I'll talk to you all later. I know, okay, before I say I talk to all y'all later, this, I know this is a lot of books, but I've been gathering them since Black Friday, which is like middle of November, basically. So, and now it's like the middle of February, so that's like three or four months, so. Yeah. But whatever. I don't judge me. I'm not buying any more books, really. Trying not to, at least. Well, alright, I guess I'm going to go now. I hope you all like this and that it made up for not posting. I'll talk to you all soon, hopefully. Bye.